Since 1948, millions of Palestinians have seen their homes, farms, land, families, and lives destroyed by Israeli occupation. At least six million are still living in exile. The latest upsurge in violence in Jerusalem started on September 13, 2015, when dozens of Israeli soldiers and police officers attacked Palestinian worshippers with stun grenades and tear gas in the courtyards of the Al-Aqsa Mosque, a Muslim holy shrine on the Temple Mount in occupied East Jerusalem. Many hardline Jewish activists and right-wing politicians ultimately want to build a synagogue on the Temple Mount. Beginning on July 2013, several Israeli settler groups and soldiers stormed the Al-Aqsa Mosque. Palestinian officials said the break-ins are part of an Israeli plan to divide the mosque and to impose a fayyad kompli in the holy city. Prime Minister Benjamin Netanyahu added to the recent violence when he barred Palestinian men 50 years and younger from the Al-Aqsa Mosque. This has caused the rise in a lone wolf stabbings of Israelis. Haratz, a leading Israeli newspaper, reported that since the beginning of the current clashes, 150 Palestinians have been wounded by live weapons fire. 360 others were injured by rubber-coated bullets fired by Israeli forces, and that there were 18 attacks on Palestinian ambulances, injuring 20 medical personnel and volunteers en route to treat the injured. On October 19, 2015, Israeli officials reported that seven Israelis were killed since October 1st, when, on October 16th, various Palestinian and pro-Palestinian organizations demonstrated in front of the Los Angeles Israeli consulate 30 Palestinians had been killed. The demonstration today was planned by a handful of people, and we built it and they came. And so we're very proud of that, of people turning out. And obviously people feel very strongly about it, because I think there's about uh, 200 people here today, which is quite amazing turnout for a Friday afternoon. I think we as the American people are at a crucial moment in time where it's time for us to demand that our taxpayers' dollars be used in an ethical fashion. Right now, $3.5 billion worth of our taxpayers' dollars goes directly to Israel, and Israel uses that to conduct their military occupation of the West Bank and the bombardment of Gaza. Both are in violation of international law. We're here because we're sick and tired of the violence. We don't stand for innocent killing of anyone. We think it's wrong in this world. And we don't, we don't think it's right for other people to support killing of innocent people. We believe in everyone's right to exist until the hatred is removed from the heart, until the time that they stop teaching violence and killing in schools, in hospitals, and in, in, their, uh, in the mosques. This is not going to stop. We're not going to have peace. Peace comes from within, and they're filled with hatred. We want love and peace. I'm here to tell Mr. Obama which is, I voted for you, Mr. Obama. Stop it to Israel. They're killing our children. We need the money here to take care of our edu uh, the education for our kids, the homeless, the poverty here. Not take care of the Israeli where they're taking people's lands. I lived there. I was there in 1967. I know how it was. My dad built a school over there. But what happened to us? We were taken away and thrown in the street in 1967. I was only five years old. Stop involving yourself in the Middle East and anywhere else. Take care of us here. I want peace. Peace for everybody, even for Jewish. I made these silhouettes. I made them individuals because they were individuals who were shot down, who've lived in, under occupation their entire lives. 18 years of repression this kid went through and that's why I made him and I made many of them unfortunately I couldn't keep up with them it was 30 of them uh, I'm here I am Jewish and uh, I was raised uh, Orthodox my father uh, was uh, came here from Poland uh, in the 1930s most of his family was wiped out I take the question of genocide very seriously and I think that uh, the Israeli uh, state apparatus backed by the US is committing genocide against the Palestinian people uh, culturally, physically, and in many other ways. I think it's a settler colonial system that has to be ended. It's uh, unjust at its core. I think there are a lot of similarities between the way the U.S. government has stolen this land that we're on and uh, you know committed genocide against indigenous people 
and what's going on right now in Palestine, and it has to stop. I'm not here to say that I stand in solidarity with the Palestinian people and with the Jewish people who are opposed to Zionism, because they understand that it's a form of reaction and racism and not in the interest of any Jews really either, so they're not any poor people or colonized people. And uh, I think it's important to stand up and expose that lie that uh, Zionists speak for all Jews or for, uh, you know, that the U.S. government speaks for the people in this country for that matter. I think that uh, the U.S. is bombing and, uh, you know, sending drones and, you know, we're committing the same kind of crimes that the Israelis are. They, uh, Obama replenished all the armaments of the Israelis after they uh, attacked Gaza last year and it has to stop. I'm here because my people have been oppressed and I understand what oppression is and there's no way I can sit back as a citizen of this country and watch this country continually support what it is supporting by financially supporting the Jewish war machine that continually wages war on innocent people unarmed people and predominantly children. BDS stands for Boycott, Divestment and Sanctions. It's an international movement led by Palestinian civil society, a nonviolent movement to try to stop uh, Israeli apartheid. The basic demands are to allow the right of return of all the Palestinian refugees, to respect the human and civil rights of uh, Arab uh, uh, and Palestinian people inside Israel itself, and to end the occupation of uh, Gaza and the West Bank so that Palestinian people can reassert their nationhood and their uh, identity. And I think it's uh, really crucial that people here support it. I'm part of something called the Hewlett Packard Boycott Coalition. Hewlett Packard is involved not only with uh, Israeli apartheid, they, they design the uh, uh, passes that the Israelis use to dis distinguish between uh, uh, Jewish Israelis and Palestinians, but they also have big contracts with the uh, Israeli Navy that is enforcing an embargo on Gaza. Here in this country, uh, uh, Hewlett Packard has big contracts with the California prison system, with private prisons, to digitize the records and all the prisoners. They have contracts with ICE to speed up deportations and to teach federal agents what they call forensic computing. And I think there's a country, a, a company that exemplifies the whole kind of military industrial complex, prison industrial complex of corporations that are profiting from human misery and human rights violations. And that must stop too. Most of the 3.1 billion U.S. military aid to Israel will be used to purchase U.S. military hardware, such as fighter jets, missile defense systems, cluster bombs, Apache helicopters, and ammunition. Israel and U.S. officials have been discussing increasing the amount to between 4.2 and 4.5 billion per year. This may be one of the reasons why politicians from Obama to Bernie Sanders are mildly critical of Israel and aren't willing to pull us out of the Middle East. They know they can't control the military industrial complex that Eisenhower warned us about at the end of his presidency in 1961. Capitalism breeds war since war is the perfect consumer that makes billions producing arms that will be destroyed in battle so more can be produced. This may be one of the reasons we are in endless wars and have no gun control. It's good for business. The same arms manufacturers that make weapons of war are the same that make and sell American citizens guns, rifles, and ammunition. That is why the NRA, which is funded by the arms manufacturer, has retarded any gun control. I remember being told as a young woman that it was World War II that had pulled us out of the Great Depression. I believed it, but for the wrong reasons, of course. I hadn't been exposed to socialism then, so it sounded right, but now I know why it isn't. War is a great consumer that makes trillions of dollars of profits for the arms industry. Free, free Palestine! Free, free Palestine! From the river to the sea! From the river to the sea! Palestine will be free! Palestine will be free! From the sea to the river! From the sea to the river! Es que cuando canto, 
Canto lo que el pueblo siente, soy del pueblo, pueblo soy, y a donde me lleve el pueblo voy.